So hi there, so today we're going to be talking about hive equipment, um, general and just a few sort of specialty type items that you might see and are a little more common in our hives. Um, but anyways, so starting from the ground up, uh, the first thing that you generally start with is something that's called a hive stand. Um, so this is what we use here. Um, it's basically anything that will get your hive up off the ground. Um, allow some ventilation from underneath there, so moisture uh, isn't a big thing with rotting the wood of the hive. Um, and also in the winter, big thing is just so it doesn't freeze solidly to the ground. Um, so uh, this here is actually made of pressure treated wood. Um, it can be made of any sort of kind of chemical treated wood. Uh, this is something that's basically just the hive is sitting on. The bees aren't actually in direct contact with it. Um, so the, the chemical and the treatment uh, won't be an issue with the bees. Um, some other people use cinder blocks, uh, metal. Again, material doesn't matter. It's just anything to get that hive up off the ground. So that's called a hive stand. Uh, the next piece of equipment is what's called a bottom board. Um, so basically just a three-sided uh, board which allows the one side without a rim on it to become the entrance of a hive. Uh, and as you can see, if we, if we were to put our brood chamber on, uh, that becomes the entrance of the hive. The next piece is a bit of a specialty piece. So this here is what's called a screen bottom board. Um, and this is for monitoring varroa mites. Um, and you can see how we can how we do that in our varroa mite film. Um, but this, when you use this thing for sticky papers, it actually ends up be replacing the entrance of the bottom board with its own entrance from the screen bottom board. So you have to flip around the regular bottom board, put on your screen bottom board, and now this becomes the entrance into the colony. Uh, just because debris and stuff will be falling down there, um, anything uh, metal or any other material sort of tray that can be slid in the back, um, basically to, to collect debris so we can later on take that out and clean it up uh, is something you'll need with that screen bottom board system. So that's the screen bottom board. On top of that, uh, we will have our brood chamber. Um, so this is what's called a deep brood chamber. Um, it has 10 frames uh, inside of it. And uh, this is about the minimum requirement uh, for bees uh, to get through the winter uh, in this sort of environment. Um, so that's what we use. So we just typically use one of these brood chambers. On top of that, uh, a bit of equipment we use is called a queen excluder. And they come in a variety of, of, of sorts. So there's just the metal bound queen excluder. And then we have the wood bound queen excluder. So again, it's metal in the middle, but it has a wood binding. Um, and then thirdly, we have a plastic queen excluder. Um, so this queen excluder is solely made out of plastic. Uh, so we here use the, the metal queen excluder. So we'll just set that on there. And to further build up our colony, uh, the next thing to put on is what's called a honey super, uh, a honey box. And it's called a super because it goes above that queen excluder. Um, so this is, we just brought one out for demonstration surface, um, purposes, but uh, throughout the year we'll have multiple of these on top of the colony. Um, so just, unfortunately, jumping back to that hive stand, it, when you are putting that hive stand down, it's very important to get that level um, because these colonies will grow throughout the year. But that's called a honey super. On top of that, you'll need an inner cover. Um, so basically, most beekeepers use these wooden inner covers which have a notch that form the job of, of a upper entrance. Um, but that basically allows the bees to stick that down so we can pry it off without sticking down the lid, um, which is next, because we won't be able to pry off anything with these sorts of lips. So we have our inner cover, then we have our outer cover or our lid, um, but it's just something that sits on top um, and sheds the weather from the colony. The other two little bits, the other two little bits of equipment that we have um, is firstly, this is called an entrance reducer. Um, so it's a little beveled piece of wood uh, that slides into the entrance of the colony um, and does exactly what it says. It, it reduces that entrance down um, for, for reasons such as the, the cold in the winter um, and also Another term it might go by is a mouse guard um, because when put it in the fall, it basically uh, is also put in there to keep mice out as they're seeking a warm spot in, in, when the cooler temperature comes. Uh, the last little piece, uh, when we were talking about that screen bottom board, again, this is just a little beveled block of wood. Uh, if you were to use that screen bottom board, that also is a wide open hole in the cooler temperatures of 
of the early spring and late sun, or late fall and winter. Um, so this just basically plugs up that back hole uh, where the tray goes in um, during those sorts of months as well. And that just should fit right on in there. So that's our basic hive equipment. Um, there's lots of other specialty bits of equipment and things out there. Um, but this is about the bare bones um, for what you'll need to start your hive.